Hey there guys, welcome to the second part of the Q&A. If you haven't watched the first one already, there's a link down below. But first, I want to tell you about this new animated news channel. It's called Tomo News, and they actually have a contest going on right now that you can join. If you have your own video footage of something crazy, interesting, wacky, or different, you can submit it for a chance to win $2,000. So if you like have a video of your second cousin riding a zebra backwards shooting a paintball gun, submit that. Now after this video, I'm actually going to search for that on YouTube. Anyway, uh, check this clip out. Did you just capture something newsworthy on camera? Then send us your videos now and win $2,000. Visit here for more details. So yeah, if you have your own interesting video, click the link down below in the description box that I provided and submit your own video for a chance to win $2,000. Okay, I'm gonna recline this chair, it's getting late. Anyway guys, uh, click the link down below, check out Tomo News for some of the top animated stories and submit your video. Uh, definitely give them a subscribe and tell them Johnny Flickster sent you as usual. Now let's jump into the Q&A questions here. Where are we at? Okay, who's better, Gandalf or Gollum? I would say Gollum. I, Gandalf's a badass, don't get me wrong. Uh, you shall not pass! Why did I just sound like Arnold Schwarzenegger right there when I said that? Yeah, Gollum, though, he's creepy, he's bizarre, and I don't trust him, so I, that's why he's a little bit more interesting to me. John, where did you order your drive scorpion jacket from? I want one, but I don't want to get a crappy one. Oh, okay. Yeah, the one I actually got was from a website called... St uh, steady clothing stut what's wrong with me I can't even tell it's from steadyclothing.com I believe it was uh, just google it um, but I don't think they actually have the drive jacket available anymore so uh, are you going to watch Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. can I get a shout out that comes from Anthony Marvelli uh, I watched a little bit of the first episode um, I can get why people like it. I don't dislike it, but it's just something there. It's not, it's just, I'd rather just put in a movie, like, to watch that. John, what are your favorite artists and bands of all time? When it comes to my favorite artist, I, I'm really a fan of instrumental music, um, and, like, epic sounding, uh, scores. Um, like Audio Machine, they're like a company that puts together epic scores. Uh, Hans Zimmer, who does scores for some of the best movies ever made. Uh, and um, I like big epic sounding songs, uh, things like that. Um, but as far as normal everyday uh, bands go, I you know Metallica is a favorite. Kill Switch Engage is a, one of my favorite bands. It's something about that metal music. It just, I don't know, it's... Um, Kill Switch Engage, I really like them. Uh, Ramstein, but don't get me wrong, I love some of the classic 80s rock as well. Um, so, too many to name, but ho hopefully that answers your question. Uh, are you getting Mickey's Christmas Carol November 5th? Amazing movie. Probably not. Uh, hey John, have you ever seen the film Spirited Away? If so, what are your thoughts? I have not seen it. Um, John, do you love me? Yes. Have you ever heard of Batman's fighting style, KFM? If not, you should check it out. I don't know. I kind of might know what you're talking about. I am aware of his fighting style that was introduced for the Batman Begins movie. Uh, it's a fighting style where you kind of use your elbows and you try to... You really fight with your elbows, basically. And it does make sense as a fighting style, if that's what you're talking about. Um... I just watched The Nightmare on Elm Street, the original, The Stretch Arms Man, and I've always loved Friday the 13th and wanted to know who would win in your opinion, Freddy or Jason? I think Freddy would win. Uh, if you took Freddy from like any of the um, Nightmare on Elm Street movies after the first one, oh, I think Freddy would win because once you get into Freddy's dream world, you're done, man. I mean, you're done. He's going to claw your ass. Hey Johnny, Fry Bobble, when will you unbox? I, I didn't get the Halloween uh, new edition. I just I like the old one. It, it's sufficient. I like it. Um, and if the new one was like six dollars, I'd probably buy it. Hey John, do you take a while to come up with your video ideas, or do you just shoot the shit? It depends. I mean, I to be honest with you, I have a list. I have a notebook with ideas listed in them. It's just. 
what I do is there's videos I like to make every week. Like I try to do a movie review. I try to do the Q and A's and I try to do a, at least a vlog somewhere in there. And those are like the videos I try to guarantee I'm going to make, but everything in between, uh, I do my best. And, uh, you know, as far as coming up with ideas, I don't have an issue as far as actually making those ideas a reality. That's where the issue comes in because sometimes there's just not enough time. Like for, if I do a movie review, for instance, you know, you see like a four or five minute movie review, but that was me sitting down here for 40 minutes talking about that movie, setting up the lights, going upstairs and editing the video for another three hours, uh, and then sitting there making the thumbnail, uploading it to YouTube. I mean, it's an all night process just for one video and a five minute video at that. And uh, it's very time consuming and I have a lot of ideas, but the one issue I have is, finally my air conditioning turned off, but the one issue I have is, I need help sometimes, like that sounded weird. I need help, please help me. Uh, the one issue, I need like a cameraman sometimes. I need another actor in the shot. I need, you know, there's little things like that that an extra pair of hands will always help, but I truly don't, I don't really have them. And, um, but sometimes like Q and A's, these are the videos where I just shoot the shit. And these, that's why they're my favorite video to make because I can just sit here and be myself. I don't have to sit there and edit every little thing in the video. Uh, John, how many subscribers do you think you can finally say fuck off to all the other shit in your life and just finally be able to make YouTube videos? Uh, as far as subscribers goes, I don't think that number, it's weird. YouTube kind of hit a place where subscribers, they matter, they're important, uh, but it's really about when it comes down to the views per video. Um, and I, in my opinion, to really live comfortably off YouTube, if you if that was your if that was your goal, I would say if you could consistently hit fifty thousand plus views per video, you'd be having a pretty decent life. Uh, if you could do that every video on a consistent basis and and then do more, but you know what? Sometimes, you know, here's my thing. I like to make videos that I like to make. Um, could I? Could I make those videos that get 50,000 views every time? I, I know how to do it. I know which videos would do that, um, but I don't like those videos. I don't wanna talk about Justin Bieber or, or Lady Gaga every single video. I don't I don't have that in me. You know, if we're talking shit about them, or Justin Bieber, I like Lady Gaga. I actually do like her. Uh, I like her music too, that's a, that's a little confession. I don't listen to it every day, but it's catchy. But, you know, those, those, pulp culture videos that people make on YouTube where they're just like, Justin Bieber today worked out his abs. It's like, I don't want to talk about that shit. I want to talk about movies. I want to talk about nothing. That's what's fun to me. Uh, shooting the shit with you. That's my goal. Uh, I feel like we just got off track for a long time there. Hey, <laughs> from Stefan A., why don't you do daily vlog, vloggity type shit? I do, I, I try to make vlogs often, but I don't make them on a daily basis just because I do want to, but some days I don't even want to look at the internet. Like there are some days I'm just so tired and drained, I just want to lay in bed all day and watch you know re reruns of Roseanne. Uh, but that would be a nice goal and I will try to do more vlogs. Uh, John, could you please do your Blu-ray collection update? Just fucking do it already. That's from, that's a Jesse Pinkman quote. Uh, I actually made it. I already made that video. And I, I think by the time this video goes up, it should be live on my FlickPick channel. I actually made it the other night. Um, so definitely check it out on the FlickPick channel. That's where it's at. Your thoughts on Monsters, Inc. Great movie. Uh, oh... John, do you have a job? I do have a job. Uh, right now, I kind of do a freelance style job. It's It kind of works with uh, design. I also do YouTube. Uh, but I I might be looking into getting a full-time graphic, de graphic design job eventually. But really, I don't want to go work a 9-to-5 job. I If I can work from home and, and get by and, and enjoy my life, that's what matters to me is... Enjoy the simple things in life and make enough money to get by. That's my motto. And uh, 
Hey John, might be kind of hard to do, but it would be awesome if you were able to do a podcast similar similar to your Q and A's. I to- totally listen to it in the gym. Thanks for the question, man. Um, you know, speaking of the podcast, uh, I actually am looking into it. I have ideas for it. It might happen eventually. A uh, lot of great ideas, and uh, I've been talking to a couple other YouTubers about it. So that's something that's probably going to happen down the road. I just got to set up the logistics of it and find a good place to put it and figure out a way to do it. Uh, But it definitely is coming. Um, All right. Hey, John, my two favorite movies of all time are Catch Me If You Can and America. Catch Me If You Can. Great movie. Uh... How how often do you go to the gym, and what is your favorite movie so far this year? As far as my favorite movie so far this year, I'm not quite completely sure on it. Um, really enjoyed Place Beyond the Pines. I liked Man of Steel. It probably won't be my number one movie. I really enjoyed the movie Mud. Uh, but I'm kind of waiting until the year's over to really figure out what, what movie's my top. Um, as far as how often do I go to the gym... Uh, I try to, I actually, uh, I got a new membership to the YMCA. I really enjoy the facility. Uh, I'm kind of going to the gym almost every day. I might skip Friday and Saturday. Friday and Saturday are probably the only two days I don't go to the gym. Every other day I'm probably in the gym doing something. If it's, you know, if it's working out legs, if it's, uh, doing arms, uh, chest, back, um, or just going in there to kind of do a light exercise that way I can have a reason to go setting set in the sauna or go swimming. Uh, so that's I pretty much go almost every day to do something. I actually went earlier tonight and uh, worked out my back a little bit. So I just wanted a reason a reason to listen to some epic music and it gave me one. So uh, what software do you use to edit your thumbnails? I use Photoshop. I actually use uh, a version of Photoshop that came out in two thousand and one. But in reality, it is. They have all these new versions of Photoshop, and they have different things, different features. But in my opinion, I can do everything on a version of Photoshop that's like 10 years old. Uh, just because the, all the new features that they introduce on Photoshop can be done in earlier versions. It's just it takes a few more steps to do it. So, uh, John, can you put your girlfriend in a video? I get. I mean, I I'm not opposed to it, but I don't think she wants to be, to be honest with you. But she has been in a few of my videos. Uh, if you go to this channel, she was in a uh, quick glimpse in my how to make a hamburger video. Uh, she was in my flick pick video. Um, what was it for my lethal weapon Blu-ray review? And she was also in um, my Magic Mike movie review. So. Hey, John, has your top 20 movies of all time changed? If so, enough to make a video on it. I, you know, there's probably some movies I would take out of my top 20 of all time, or they probably go a little bit somewhere else on the on the list. But overall, I think it kind of stands up. Um, there might be, an, you know, another movie here or there, but I'd say it's probably about 90% still accurate. Uh Hey, John, what are your thoughts on Blade Runner? Love your videos. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Thank you for that. Um, I like Blade R- I like Blade Runner. I'm not one of these diehard fans of it. I think the thing I really appreciate about it was the immersive factor of it. And overall, the way that they set up the society in Blade Runner or just the production value of it. Um, but the one thing I want to mention about Blade Runner, since we're talking about a futuristic sci-fi movie, is in Blade Runner... When they video chat with somebody, right, they walk to the wall and there's a video on like a screen on the wall where they can talk to people. And keep in mind, that movie takes place in the future. And it's 2013. And by the time we hit like 20, 2005, we have the capability to not only do what they're doing in that futuristic movie, but we can put that video and that screen in our pocket and take it around places and do the same thing they're doing in that movie. It's kind of crazy that... Technology is moving so fast and so far beyond its abilities that you could never even imagine that when you're making a a sci-fi movie in the early 1980s. Just kind of a weird little thought. Uh, What do you think of the 2004 movie Punisher? 
I like that movie, but I would like to see a better version of Punisher made. I do like it. I think Thomas Jane as the Punisher was good. Uh, but going back and watching it, you're like, ah, this is a little bit campy and a little bit... Mm, like some of the things with John Travolta in it, like that ending scene where his foot's tied to the back of the car and he's going, ah, ah, and he's screaming on fire. Watch that scene. It feels weird. It doesn't feel that well done. Um, John, can you do a Bill Cosby, Bill Cosby impression? You put the jello cup and the pudding cup and the... That's all I got. Jello pudding cups. Not the best impression. Uh, I was just wondering if you respect what pro wrestlers do. Yes, absolutely. I mean, it's physicality. It's coordination. You got to have mic skills. You got to have the physical ability of it. Yeah, not a lot of people can do what those guys do. Uh, a lot of people try and they fail miserably, but... Yeah, pro wrestlers, man. I mean, it's athletics. I mean, it's choreographed stunt work and soap opera drama for men. I mean, that's what it is. It's a stage play, but with athletic athleticism going on. And those guys flip, they churn, they take a beating, and they keep going on with the show. I mean, heck yeah, I do. Um, hey, Jay Flick, to the flick. If you could rename yourself, what would your name be? I kind of like my name, to be honest with you. I think I have an interesting name, and I, I'd, I'd stick with it. Uh, hey, John, how scared did you get when you first got Fight Club on Blu-ray and saw the menu screen for Never Been Kissed? It's been a long time since I watched the Blu-ray. I do believe I think I know what you're talking about and at first I think it was one of those things you Google and you're like okay uh, Danny Elfman or Hans Zimmer I like Danny Elfman I that guy's made some great scores but Hans Zimmer is like that's a guy I can listen to his music every day of my life John what's your diet like do you try to eat healthy or do you just use supplements I use both as far as eating healthy, I'd say, yeah, I, I try my best, but I'm not one of those health fitness freaks that's like, oh, I can never eat a Big Mac with fries, you know? It's like, yeah, every once in a while I'll eat shit. Not literally, but uh, yeah, I mean, there's nothing wrong with drinking like a can of soda every once in a while, as long as it's not your main consumption. I mean, drink water, drink juice, I mean, drink milk. Uh, but, you know, every once in a while, if you want to drink a soda while you're watching a movie, there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, as long as you stay active and, and work out and do your best, I, I mean, enjoy life. That's my motto. Uh, but I do eat a lot of protein, a lot of chicken, uh, a lot of rice, rice with chicken. Uh, probably my number one thing I eat. Uh, a lot of oatmeal. Uh, I do this new thing where I put protein uh, powder mix in my oatmeal when I make it in the morning. That's pretty good. And it, you know, you get your you get your protein, you get your calories, uh, really good easy meal to go. So, and supplements, I love supplements. I'm all about them. So I got my whey protein. Uh, what are your thoughts on Quentin, Quentin Tarantino directing a Deadpool movie? I would love to see that. Probably will never ever happen. Uh, where did you work at before you made your flick pick channel? I worked at a few jobs. Uh, my, my main job that I had though uh, was I worked at a marketing company uh, and uh, yeah that sucked that really sucked I sat in a cubicle 90% of my day and I just one day I just couldn't take it anymore so that was my main job uh, hey Johnny you said you watched Cheers have you have you ever watched the spinoff Frasier a few times, never was really big into it. Uh, John, if you could be one of the Watchmen, who would you be? I'd be Dr. Manhattan. You'd have a big old blue dangly man part dangling out, plus you have the, the powers of a god. Um, if a fan of your video saw you on the streets, how would you want them to approach you? If you, well don't come up and stab me with a knife. As long as you don't come up and stab me with a knife, we're, we're cool, man. Uh, if I seen you on the streets, I'd go, hey, John, can you give me a high five? I would give you a high five. I have been approached once. It was, I was actually at the gym once, 
and uh, a kid came up and he noticed me from my flip pick channel i believe and uh, i talked to him for like a few seconds because he was with a friend or something and he was about to head out uh but that was pretty cool i was like that's that's neat so yeah if you ever see me say say hello uh <laughs> hey flicker picker you should get an instagram you know i don't understand instagram i sound like an old man right now what is the internet? I don't know. It's all this electricity and these kids showing their private parts. Uh, as far as Instagram goes, it's basically a photo sharing site, okay? Why? I have Twitter. I have Facebook. I don't get the use of Instagram. Like, if I have a picture to show you and I deem it worth showing you, I'll just show it on Facebook or Twitter. I don't get the point of Instagram. Does anyone else agree? I don't know. Uh, maybe that's just me. I t uh, okay, this has five thumbs up, and since it does, I will do it. Uh, John, can you please say this to my friend? Here it goes. Scott, you're a dick. Barney's awesome. I never thought I'd say that in my life. Uh, John, would you give your bank account for a threesome with Olivia, Olivia Thurbley and Amber Heard? Yeah, because I don't have a lot of money in the bank, so it would be a pretty good deal. Uh, John, for the rating thing and terminology, you could call a shitty film a flick flop. That is all. I like that. A flick flop. I like that. I like that. That's not bad. Uh, as far as the rating system goes, I am tired of saying like A plus, B plus for movies. Uh, I do have a few uh, references and terminologies lined up uh, for some different movies, but flip flop, not bad, not bad, man. I'll give you, I'll give you an A plus for that one. I answered this question. Uh, answer this one. <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, God. God, you perverts. All right. Uh, thanks for the questions, though. I, I'm reading them. Okay, let's answer a few more here. Uh, John, do you have an imaginary friend? Yes, but we don't talk about him. If you guys have watched my channel, you know who I'm talking about. It's thou who we do not speak of because he's listening. John, how would you like to die? How would you want to say goodbye? Like having a heart attack in a room full of Blu-rays? Probably not, man. I think the way I'd like to die is in, in an epic action battle where I have to save my family's life. Like, we're on a very busy highway. There's a helicopter flying over. There's an H... There's a, a like a Humvee full of guys and mercenaries with machine guns. My family's sitting in the minivan. There's explosions going on in the background and my partner was just shot to death and I jump in the way to save one of my family members. I shoot all the bad guys, the mercenaries, but I get shot in the action and it's it's definitely, you know, it's 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 going to kill me. This battle wound is going to kill me and it's starting to rain as I sit there on the side, the side of the road as my family's around me and I'm bleeding to death and I have like a white t-shirt on but it's real dirty and covered in blood. And I got a couple of scrapes on my cheek right here, so it looks really cool. And there's like some kind of Hans Zimmer emotional score playing in the background. And I'm just like, just, just, I'm, I'm like, you know, don't remember what happened today, but just remember the good times. And then I say, uh, something, something real witty as I'm dying and bleeding out. But then before, before I can say it, I die. Like, I think that'd be a good way to go. Uh, John, would you like to meet Tom Hardy? Yeah, but th the thing about Tom Hardy is, have you guys ever seen the interviews with that guy? He's kind of bizarre, isn't he? Like, John, just don't stare at it. Eat it. So anyway, guys, I think that's all the questions I'm going to answer this, for this q and I, I've actually, I think I made this one longer than I, yeah, I made it way longer than I planned to. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. As usual, answer, I'm sorry, ask your questions down below. Make sure you check out uh, part one of the Q&A if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next time.